Hi, I'm Mike from Michael's Motor Cars, located in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and I'm very pleased to bring an unusual car, for us at least, to bring a trailer. Come on over and take a look at it. This car started life. It was uh, built originally in December of 1956. It was sold as a 1957 Austin Healey 106 four-seater. It underwent an extensive rotisserie frame-off restoration around 2009 to 2014 was completed in 2014-2015. And the major difference, the fellow who did the restoration, Slim Wheatley, lives up in New York. He did a lot of Mercedes-Benz SLs, predominantly 190 SLs, and then he decided towards the end of his career to try two Austin Healeys. He did this one, and then he did a second one, which we'll be preparing and bringing to bat soon, which is a completely original car. In this car, just for fun, he deviated and chose a different motor for the car. So this car has a Chevy V8. It's a 350, 350. It has an Edelbrock intake system, carburetor, 750 CFM. It's mated to a Muncie four-speed transmission. And so obviously an engine change. Uh, I must admit that I tend to be a purist and I tend to like patina on cars. So normally a car like this would not be in my wheelhouse but we purchased it as a set of cars and I must say after working on the car and driving it I'm very impressed uh, please look at our driving video when you watch it uh, the car is wonderful to drive it essentially is a stock 104 Healy he retained the original Healy suspension the original Healy braking system which on this car is drum brakes all the way around uh, very little modification to the car itself in fact the frame rails and everything the mounting points are still all Austin Healey. However, of course, he dropped a 350 V8 with the four-speed Muncie. Interestingly, when he did the engine and transmission switch, just for fun, he weighed it. This whole combination is actually lighter than what the car was originally, primarily because this car had the cast iron transmission with overdrive. Now it has an aluminum case Muncie, which is about 75 pounds. So it actually lost weight in the transformation and obviously gained a lot of torque and power. What I love about the car, it's very original in its look. People who really know these cars, it's sitting maybe half an inch taller in the front. That's because he kept the stock springs. But other than that, uh, you really have to look under the hood to see what's different about the car. He also has dual exhaust at the back, which I'll show you. But he also chose, I think very tastefully, small diameter pipes. And it's a very quiet car, it's not noisy, it's muffled, it's actually about the same decibel level as it would have been originally. He did fully document his restoration. We have the British Heritage Trust certificate for the car. It was originally a white car with a blue interior and a black top. Of course, it's totally different now. And it was born December 11th, 1956. So it was born seven days before me. That's probably why I like the car. Uh, it came from the factory with wire wheels, miles per hour speedometer, heater, overdrive, and a laminated windshield. So we have all of that with the car. We also have extensive records, all the receipts and a CD of the restoration. The motor was completely rebuilt by Dyson Racing, which is well known for doing engines. It is essentially a stock motor with a mild stock cam. It's not cammy, it's very easy to drive has a brand new all leather interior beautifully done nicely installed the carpeting the leather everything is brand new he also took the time that all the instrumentation works the tachometer works the speedometer odometer temperature oil pressure everything works on the car the wipers work and we demonstrated that in the test drive Healy people will notice the shifters in a different location I'd like to change this to a black knob or a Healy knob. That would kind of look cool. The only real difference down here is the cutoff switch for the electric fuel pump. That deviates from a Healy. And also, and I mentioned this in a driving video, he left the overdrive switch on. He thought it looked cool. There's no overdrive in the car. It's a four-speed manual Muncie transmission. Chrome wire wheels. Uh, the tires are older Michelins. The date code is older, but they're in very nice condition. They've really never been driven. The car only has 484 miles on it since it was finished. So it is broken in, but uh, freshly driven. For, for me personally, I'd leave these tires on. I think they look beautiful, they're period correct. 
He chromed everything. All the chrome is fresh and new. Uh, he had his own paint shop, so the paintwork is very nice on the car and, of course, is holding up quite well. In the trunk of the car, it's all original. Has a wire wheel spare, the correct hold down, a new battery. All of the trim is new, was all brand new. Battery cutoff switch. He did nice work. He has nice rubber weather stripping everywhere. A lot of attention to detail. We also have, the car comes complete with a brand new top. Really has never been on the car. We put it on for photos. That's the first time it's been on. We have the convertible top bows. We also have a complete tonneau cover, which is also brand new, and the bow for that. And we have both side curtains over there. So all of that comes with the car. Coming along this side of the car, these are not Healy colors, but we do have the paint codes. I believe it's torch red. And then I think it's a Mercedes-Benz Silver. He did so many Mercedes, he, he couldn't help himself and had to do something Mercedes on the car. Here you can see this side door card. This is all new and, and nicely done, done to a nice quality level. The doors shift, close very nicely. Door seam is very nice. I mean, it's probably better than these cars were from the factory. All the stainless is nice on the car. But I think the main thing with this car is the driving experience. Um, even though it's a 350, 350, it's very smooth, very easy to drive. The clutch action is easier than a stock Healy would have been. And it's a uh, surprisingly really pleasant car to drive. I mentioned in my driving video, I was trying to figure out what this car reminded me of. And it's a lot like a uh, Sunbeam Tiger with a 260 V8. Very smooth engine, very strong power but not over the top. So please consider this car. Look at the photos. You'll be looking at a stock Healy underneath. It's very clean underneath, just like it is on top. A very nicely done, professionally done restoration on the whole car. And uh, please consider it and uh, ask us any questions you may have. We'll be happy to provide more photos and answer any questions. So good luck bidding. Thanks for looking at our car.